Hey guys, uh, just a quick intro, I guess. Uh, I know this is not the most professional uh, video in the world of oral in regards to uh, pack openings, but uh, yeah, if this gets enough support, I will be doing it again. Uh, but next time I would be, uh, how do you say it? We putting the overlays on and such and actually having a proper rig for a digital SLR so I can actually record uh, downwards and uh, have it, the actual camera focus on the actual cards and the names. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think and I may or may not put the presses on in the future because I do have to put a, uh, well, I do have to work on an assignment and don't quite want to do uh, the presses sometime far off into the future, uh, probably like even a couple days into the future given that how often these presses do fluctuate, so if you guys don't mind, just take my word that I did only make a quote-unquote $3 profit if I were to sell or buy any of these cards and off the stores and such. So yeah, uh, I'd probably just uh, revealed how much, uh, why I opened and I didn't, or why I did or did not open, but yeah. Talk to you guys later. Hey everybody, today I will be doing a... My oh. Hey everyone, today I'll be doing my first uh, MTG video. It will be a opening of a Keladish uh, booster box. So let's hope we can... Uh, let's see what we can crack open here. Uh, I've been playing since, uh, Battle for Zendikar, so I'm, well, as you guys know, I'm pretty bad at, uh, card games, given my performance in Hearthstone and with some of the, uh, the, uh, arena runs I've been doing. But let's see what we can do here, uh, today, as far as opening booster packs, uh, go. Uh, and yes, I do, pl uh, have a Mercy playmat. She's my, arguably my main in, uh, what's it called, uh, Overwatch. So, uh, because no one goes to Porta, really, and I got forced into it to a point where I got used to playing her. Anyway, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, I don't really know how to do overlays that well, so I know other people tend to do, uh, put music into the stuff and our stuff, and, like, I'll put the prices of, uh, I love the... Uh, card values of the rares and such. Uh, since I don't know how to do that, uh, I probably arguably won't be doing that. Uh, we'll see though. Uh, first uh, pack opened Demon of Dark uh, Schemes. Uh, probably a first uh, uh, regular Demon. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to read the. Uh, Working on that, given my current setup. Uh, Demon of Dark Schemes and a foil uh, puzzle knot, sp a metal spinner. Uh, I know I kind of sound disappointed in that. I am really not. But as far as mythics go, that probably wasn't one of the best. Anyways, uh, let's see what else we'll open. But yeah, I'll probably be putting a value of some of the, uh, some of the stuff uh, later on tonight. Uh, Cultivator Caravan. And, uh, yeah. Actually, I'll, oops, just dropped something. I'll, uh, I'll be keeping the Mythics and the Jink rares I open. And, well, any of the rares right there. This guy keep on remembering that I have to uh, open packs this way in front of the camera, the way that I have it set up right now. And what's up with the sunlight? I probably should close the blinds for I, uh, given that uh, the light coming in. But I'll stop talking now. Uh, ooh, blooming merch. And that was 
pretty much everything there. And there was the file that I opened up earlier with the Demon of Dink memes. Put that backwards. Well, faced up backwards. Uh, flagship cruiser. And that's everything. Basically, my goal for this is uh, about $160, given that uh, Canadian, well, $160 Canadian. I'll see if I can uh, probably crack anywhere near that. Uh, 30 console. And, yep. 30 console in that uh, pack. Ah, uh, Architect of the Untamed, and yeah, ah, uh, fail. And Pharma Monicon, uh, sure. Probably uh, an urgent card. Let's see, artifact creatures entering the battlefield. Creatures trigger only. Oh, fair enough. So it triggers like the uh, any triggers uh, twice. Not the worst rare I've seen. Oil Garys and uh, Gonti Lord of uh, oops, sorry, Gonti Lord of Luxury. There. Let's see, Death Trap, uh, well, Deathlock Trap, uh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, first time seeing that card, since I haven't looked at any spoilers, I made a huge mistake of, uh, doing the recording here, so, as you can see, uh, my computer monitor stand is right here, so, as you can imagine, space is kind of limited. So, uh, Captain, uh, oh, sorry, reading upside down. So, captured by the consulates. Ooh. 
I got the foil Dovin ban, which in itself is pretty good, and a Madcap uh, experiment, which of course is not worth that much. And yeah, that was actually a really awesome pull. Or I at least assume, since I don't know the any of the prices off the uh, top of my head. But obviously, masterpieces are the chase cards. Ah, midnight oil. And that's it for this pack. Put these off to the side. Can't believe I got that uh, foil planeswalker. Ah, fail. Uh, there we go. The only thing better would have been uh, Foil Chandra, or obviously Foil, another Foil uh, Puzzle Knot, we, uh, Woodland Weaver. And, ooh, Tormental Gearhawk, the blue one. Uh, that's the second one I've ever pulled, traded for the black one with my other one. So those are probably the only three uh, Mythics in the pack, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy, oh, decently, uh, happy at the time, because anything else right now is just gravy. And, yeah, I won't make a fat joke about myself right now, because that would just be kind of depressing. And, ooh, Depla, uh, Pala Pilot Exemplar, decent card. Did very uh, well in the uh, red, blo uh, red, white, tag two head gear, uh, yeah, two head giant. I uh, did for pre-release with my buddy. Put these to the side, into my drawer of uh, useless of garbage. And Pia Nalar, I uh, Chandra's mom. Aether Hub. Ooh, this is actually a uh, Aether Hub. That's actually a very valuable. Uh, last time I saw that was at like a uh, two something uh, Canadian. So there's actually some real uh, resell value in that one. Maybe not for you Americans, but. When I'm reaching like I am, those are actually quite valuable. Uh, smugglers, uh, smuggler copter. I I think I remember hearing that that's uh, really good. Uh, let's see if I can find another Aether Copter uh, thing in their hub in there. And no, there wasn't. Boom, uh, boom, Mac carrier.
move my keyboard a little bit so I can look the rest of my room. And that didn't quite help, unfortunately. Ooh. The... Uh... Vendorous Gear Hulk. So the green Gear Hulk. Nice. Ooh, and our uh, Aether Gear Hulk. Next time, I should have a garbage can next to me. So, a foil, uh, Durkahar, I uh, scavenger, like, regardless, it's a, uh, what's it called, a foil common, so, and a Padim console of innovation, uh, innovation, sorry, English is hard, which is actually somewhat true. Considering the everyone saying sh uh, stuff like how it's the first language to learn, which to me is somewhat uh, BS, because as a English speaker uh, would say, who's not that smart, would say that Mandarin would be quite hard, given. Uh, Cantonese and uh, Mandarin, considering how much uh, tone has to do with, uh, uh, oh, and pitch has to do with it. A paradoxal welcome. Give, uh, helicopter. But yeah, like, uh, because, like, the word ma is used for the, in the word hello or, uh, Obviously, because everyone knows how you say Niohama, and it's also used to describe the word mom and a certain pitch and a reflex reservoir. And as a nerve pitch, it's uh, a horse. So, as you can imagine, I'll. Yeah. As you can imagine, I think I. Uh, yeah, this. Yeah, especially for those of us who are tone deaf. So, Spinner uh, Canal. Sorry, Rose, reading that upside down. Look kind of like how I'm reading this upside down at the moment. Still can't believe I opened that. Not the Chandra I wanted, but I won't complain. So, Metal Work Colossus. Not quite the Gear Hulk I thought it was uh, when I first saw it, but I won't complain. Uh. Fair enough, nothing else of value in here that I know of. That's probably not worth that much either, uh, unfortunately, because I have a t uh, tendency to overhype by uh, mythics and stuff, apparently. As anyone from the store I will, I regular will tell you, electrostatic uh, pummeler. An aircrafter. Still chasing after that, uh, no, um, uh, masterpieces. So the Skyship Stalker, not a terrible card. 
well, probably not worth that much, but, uh, well, definitely isn't worth that much, but, uh, played it in limited, uh, not that bad, actually. I got a regular, a plain uh, dove in pen. So two dove bands and one uh, booster pa uh, booster set. Uh, one foil, one regular. He is a white blue uh, planes walker. I probably should read uh, what kind of card he is. Uh, oh. Other than the Planeswalker later. And in Duel N, the White Red, this will have been inspi oh, Inspiring Advantage. Having that during a uh, limit, uh, pre release will have been helpful. Aetherstorm Rock. That's the card from there. So drama uh, foil dramatic reversal, I foil common, fumigate as my rare, with Uh, Cabal uh, console location. Conditions and nothing else I was chasing after. Oil God, uh, Perpetual Timepiece, and uh, another du uh, dual land, Botanical Sanctum. Oh, whoops, so I'll have uh, two more in front of me. Master. Do we ah? Uh... Dubious challenge, probably one of the jinkiest cards I ever read before. It's 
So this is the last three. Last three chances for uh, Chandra or a Masterpiece. Let's see if I get them. Even though at this point I pretty much exhausted every opportunity for a uh, Mythic. Given the average uh, number of averages. But uh, we'll see how it happens. Angel of Inventions. Ah, so another mythic. Uh, right after I said I exhausted every single opportunity for one. Again, not the best mythic in the back, but what can you do? Territorial Gorger. And my last chance for a masterpiece. Let's see if I get it. Ah, oh, unfortunately I did not get that masterpiece. But the rare is a uh Chirapur or uh Ori. I know that my camera is not the best at this moment, but that's how it uh, the cookie crumbles. Anyways, I'm just gonna end the recording here for momentarily as I clean this up. I'll be back with a more updated report with everything cleaned up and uh, in perfect order. Uh, see you in a moment. Hey everyone, I am back and I am shooting this with my digital SLR now that my hands are free from not opening packs. These are all the non jank cards that came out to about just over uh, at least a minimum of a uh, dollar, min uh, just uh, over a dollar, I should say, or, uh, on TCG. It all came out to about uh, 22.52, and given that I paid about uh, 119 uh, 50 date, that gives me about about nearly eight dollars. I mean three dollars uh, profit USD, of course. Uh, I converted from the Canadian price I said I was going to, but yeah, I came out to about three dollars profit. So uh, $3 American profit. So yeah, if you want to see another one, just let me know.